Hey friends and neighbors, this is Tim. I have a question for you. Those of you who grew up in church, you, you know where in the Bible it mentions the, the word Pentecost. And that's in Acts chapter 2 verse 1. It says, when the day of Pentecost had come, they were gathered together in the temple and the sound of a great wind had filled the temple. But have you ever asked yourself, why does it say when the day of Pentecost had come, when that's the very first time that that word shows up in Scripture? As a matter of fact, the word Pentecost only shows up three times in all of Scripture, and it's all found in the New Testament. And two of those times, it's Paul. One of those times, Paul is uh, wanting to get back to Jerusalem for Pentecost, and the other one, Paul is writing to the Ephesians, saying that he was going to stay there until it was time for him to go to Pentecost. So there is a bit of a mystery about just exactly what is this Pentecost. Because if you read it as the word Pentecost, maybe you don't know exactly what the history of it is. However, the history of Pentecost really begins at Mount Sinai. This is where Moses and the children of Israel had come out of Egypt and stood at Sinai, and this is where God gave the Ten Commandments to Moses. This was the beginning of his law that he was going to give to his people to live by for righteousness. And so Pentecost was one of those days that was one of the three great holy days where everybody had to be in Jerusalem. That's why Paul was wanting to get there. But a lot of people really still, from the point of view of the New Testament, don't know what it is. It's actually called Shavuot, and it comes 50 days after Passover. Now, I know that in the church they count 50 days after the day of Easter, but Scripture says it's 50 days after Passover. Well, that 50th day is coming up June the 11th of this year, and we're going to be celebrating Shavuot in Lufkin, well, it's actually Hudson, Texas, technically, at Providence Baptist Church, the good people of Providence Baptist Church have opened up their church to us, and Pastor Brian Lipscomb, they've all been so very kind. They're going to actually let us use their building to celebrate Shavuot this year. So I want to ask you a quick question. What do a shaking mountain, gathering bundles of wheat, a cup, and praying in the garden and a jealous husband have to do with Shavuot? Well, if you want to find out, come join us. June the 11th, Providence Baptist Church in Hudson, Texas, at 7 o'clock in the evening. So everybody is welcome. We want you to come and celebrate with us. Come and have a great time with us. I promise you, you will enjoy yourself, and you'll get a great blessing out of it. And so come and celebrate it with us. See you then.